This is the microphone that we'll be using for the vlog stuff. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro. So now let me tell you a story of how the case behind me ruined 400 gigabytes of information and how I lost a bunch of files that were never backed up. Luckily, everything is online and it's, you know, uploadable format, but the raw files and all the source files are lost forever. So what I'm talking about is go watch the review for the NZXT Manta case where in the beginning, I wanted to create this very suspenseful introduction where system shuts down and I freak out what the hell's happening and then the case pops up. So within that power down, that was activated by me by shutting off the power brick that, that houses the monitors and the computer. And so what happens is then, when I shut down the power brick, the PC and the monitors all turn off to create this very cool effect. And you can see the power brick is right over there. So in doing so, I wanted to, to be authentic. I didn't want to be done in post. And therefore I was wondering like, okay, this was, gear is spinning I was like how can I make this happen quickly so that I can sort of move on with the edit and you know get the rest of the stuff sort of ready for for the review in doing so and powering down the the entire system my RAID 0 array my lovely RAID 0 array in the system had failed the drives are okay but the RAID failed in doing so I destroyed 400 gigabytes of information that was not backed up Luckily, these were files that were uploaded on, online for the, res, their respective channels already for you know publishing, but were not saved as source files. So last seven videos that I've produced, basically nothing exists of them than what is being uploaded or has been uploaded onto the internet, which is very upsetting. Looking back to your responses onto the, the introduction of the, you know, the Manta video, which is right there. Uh, still, it wasn't worth it because I should have been more careful in terms of how I approach, you know, power down like that. Obviously lessons learned in two scenarios. First is RAID zero is very dangerous. In case a power outage as RAID can fail, despite the drives working totally fine. And then second, things should have been backed up obviously. And that's something that I am taking a lot more serious now that it has affected me in this very, you know, consequential, disruptive, personal matter. So now it's time to disassemble the Manta because we have a new case on the block. This guy literally just came in yesterday. This is the Nano S from Fractal Design. The new Mini ITX enclosure. Everybody's going Mini ITX. Um, it's very nice. I have received many requests to clarify why my microphone uh, solution like the, you know, my AKG microphone and the Zoom are on top of the H440, the 2015 edition. You guys are asking about the review for the case. Actually, for the last, ever since I received the case, it has been my platform for recording the audio when I'm in front of the camera because, you know, when I sit down and I want to have a nice background behind me, like these monitors uh, and the camera, let's say, is in front of me like this, uh, I have no microphone stand that can reach this high, so I have to stack things on top and so far it's been working great. So it's time to move on to another case review, just finished with the NZXT Manta. Uh, the entire review was shot on the camera that you're watching now, the G7, uh, and that's because the GH4, despite of it being an amazing video camera in the first place as well, it still doesn't shoot as good a video as the G7, which is so unfortunate because the GH4 is, you know, double the price. Um, but the few things I've added onto the review videos, you know, recently, is this new plant. And I uh, kind of tried to use a little bit of symbolism into in the video because I have the big plant and I have 
the little plant. And so using both plants in the video kind of, uh, you know, gives us a little bit of a balance of this case targeted towards ITX. So think of a little plant, ITX, obviously the one of the smaller um, system formats, but in a very large enclosure. So that was the idea behind using something like this in conjunction with this. Also, just as the other little plant, these are fake because first of all, I uh, they look good despite being fake on video. It's all plastic anyway. I don't have to water them and I can store them on top of the computer case without having to worry about things leaking through. So the takeaway from this video is multiple things coming onto the channel, multiple reviews with the Nano S, the 400C from Corsair. Uh, if you haven't seen the mount review yet, go check it out. And also, I will be more careful now, from now on, with um, my introductions. Perhaps nothing super crazy that will destroy information but at least I have got rid of my RAID 0 array and I have installed extra backups in case, you know, things go down again, unfortunately. So guys, thanks so much for watching this behind the scenes. I'm Dimitri with Hurricanux. Make sure to subscribe for more like it. Now you know why and how my RAID 0 got destroyed with 400 gigabytes of information just lost in the air because of my stupidity and that one single power jack, which is right there somewhere. Um, this is what the office looks like once again after been in total filming mode. I'm gonna begin working on another case review now and we'll see you in the next video.